And you tell me about what you share. I know, I know I'm looking like a box of chocolate, but that is because today we're going to be reviewing the outfit one to a chocolate love story wedding that is Ini's wedding. If you all know, at least if you don't know Ini, you must have watched or heard about the Blood Sister movie and she co-acted it with Nancy Isime and that movie is a bomb. I really love it. One of the best Nigeria films ever. When I mean best, I mean in production, the editing, directing, it was so superb. If you've not watched it, I think it's a catch. You should go watch that movie. So my name is Afolabi Ariola. As you all know, the girl that is so in love with herself. I love my makeup today. I love my hair. I don't want to bring my hair forward. I hope you guys love it. You know, I'm having, I'm carrying dread. In case you don't know, I'm announcing it. <laughs> so I don't want to bring the hair forward just to make the friend a friend. I don't want that. I decided to go with this um, shirt. I was thinking, I really wanted to wear chocolate color, you know. I don't have any chocolate clothes, dress, shirt. I don't have any. That means I need to buy chocolate because I really love it. And I don't know. I never knew I didn't even have it. But anyways, I decided to go with the black chocolate. <laughs> because this is not really um, black. This is like a dark chocolate. So I decided to wear this. And then I paired it with this, my silver ring. It's so, uh, my gold ring but it's silver <laughs> like it's real silver but it's gold color so and i went with these dainty earrings with this necklace i hope you guys love it because you know as we're coming here to do fashion review we have to also bring it up a little bit <laughs> you know so let's get into the video of today <laughs> before we go into the video please i need i have a question and i need you to answer me in the comment section where are our celebrities getting money? They just finished AMVCA last week and they all came with their A game. In case you've not seen that video, I'm going to link it up. I have three videos on that review. And in case you've not seen it, I'm going to link it up here for you to go check it out because it was a beautiful review. It was hilarious and I love it. So they dressed up to come for Innie's wedding. Oh my God. And the hashtag for that wedding is a chocolate love story if you've not seen it you can just type that on instagram and it's going to pop up for you to see beautiful beautiful moments you see people dancing people really been happy for her you see sharon oja being sincerely happy for her friend getting married you see um kate henshaw dance oh god i love that woman and before we go and be talking about what happened at the wedding please uh, that's none of my business i'm just here to review the outfit and the first person's outfit i'm going to be reviewing is that of the bride herself the bride gave us three beautiful, when I say beautiful, I mean very, very beautiful outfits. The very first outfit that she wore, oh my God, that outfit is mad. That outfit is crazy. Do you know the funny thing about it? Even if you like, dress like peacock and come to somebody's wedding, the bride always remained a bride. She dressed up in this um, Edo ladies outfit a do attire and oh my god it looked extremely gorgeous Tobo designed this outfit she sold the outfits for her it was just a maroon a deep a shouting i am the gorgeous bride outfit and the thing about this outfit is that it doesn't even have a slit everything about this outfit is covered up and she looked like a goddess like from the detailing of the neck she had a high neck and then there's a corset just there and that corset is having a little bit of the darker maroon as compared to the other part of her dress. And then you guys know what complimented this look the most. The hair. Oh my God. The hair was perfectly made into a beautiful Edo bride. And then she had these beads on her wrist, beads on her neck. Just so beautiful. The hair too was <sighs> it was built. I can't want to say it was built into into beads. Oh my god, everything was just so beautiful and perfect. And she was she snapped this picture with her husband. Her husband is wearing the I think her husband is Efik, and he dressed like a proper Efik um prince. And I love, I love and live for this outfit. They look so gorgeous, even though I don't really like the outfit that the husband wore during their 
um, traditional wedding also but i love and i live for this particular one that they wore for, for their first outfit here i really really love it the second outfit ah she went back and dressed like people from her husband's side hey nigeria is rich nigeria is rich with culture nigeria is is beautiful nigeria's culture is beautiful you'll be thinking oh my god your people are so beautiful with their culture until you see other people's culture and the reason i love this her, uh, her outfit is because she didn't really put in everything for her to look like the proper ethic bride she, it was only her hair that was distinguishing for you to know that this is a proper ethic bride but then her dress was just beautiful it was modern and then she had this beautiful dainty necklace that was just coming down through her neck I love the fact that they gave her a simple jewelry to match because the hair is already so glamorous. The hair is just there shouting, yes, I am the bride. So she doesn't really need to put in a lot of effort anymore. If you think it's going to be bad belay in somebody's wedding, let me just tell you the truth. No matter how you dress, no matter how you think you're going to look, the bride is going to remain a bride on her wedding day. And then I love the uh, staff that she held onto. That one too is a... It's just a way of showing that she's uh, an epic bride. The last and the final outfit that she wore. Oh, oh, guys, this outfit. Oh, so boys. Oh. I love the detailing of this outfit. I love everything about this outfit. This outfit has a slit and then it has some um, pleating by, at the back. Then she had a low back. And then it was this corset. Only Turbo knows how to make this her beautiful corset. Turbo's corset is going to corset you, not only your stomach, but also your bonbon. That's how she does this. I'm going to zoom in for you guys to see the back of this masterpiece. Called, it was a deliberate. It was a deliberate design. And... Oh my god, Ini, you look beautiful. And oh did I remember did I remember to tell you guys that she smiled a lot in this uh, wedding? During this uh, wedding, she smiled like she was in love with her husband. And I wish them so well. And I hope that this smile will never disappear on her face forever and ever. And they're going to live happily ever after and have the best of the children that are going to be the the coolness of their eye that is going to make them so proud as a parent they will never regret going to this marriage together amen then the first person apart from the bread i'm going to be reviewing is dorothy bacho as you guys know i'm a big big fan of dorothy but i don't like the fact that every of dorothy's outfit nowadays only shows off her breast and the thing is going to be so tight that her breast just going to be there like flat she has big boobs but her outfit is just too concentrated on her boobs these days and they now try to make it you know uh fitted everything was just so tight i did not like it i did not like it on her the outfit is so beautiful but i did not like it on her it was too tight it was just <sighs> too tight but the outfit is beautiful there was um a beautiful um thinking going into it and i love her shoes i love the beautiful clutch or was it just a purse that she was holding i love the hair i usually do not like golden hair on dark people it's just my personal preference but i'm thinking of even turning my <laughs> my hair to gold maybe i'm going to love it just for the meantime then maybe i can redye it to another color but i really love it i love everything about it but i don't like the fact that they are always talking about they are always being present they're always thinking of everything just to make her boots to be out there and it's beautiful anyways the next person is Suleiman Ibrahim. The um, this outfit, I think they asked the, the men to wear any outfit that they want, and then they give a shabby to the guys, to the girls, cause the guys are so many of them. They wore white, and this person here wore a brown chocolate. Can I say? Can I just say chocolate? This is not really. This can pass for chocolate actually. So I love the fit. It's just a simple outfit, and I love the fact that they put in a white um neck going on there and it's just like when you bite on a chocolate you're going to see the milky parts come out of it and it just made it look beautiful and i love everything about it the next person is somebody that i don't really know but i love and i live for her outfit as i'm putting her here her name is fade Ogunu or something like that i'm not really sure because i don't really know her but her outfits ah let's start from the corset guys hey See the way the corset is making her boobs look cute. The corset is not too small for the out for the boobs because some, some many, many people now I don't know why they keep doing so many small corsets for somebody that has a big bust. 
and i love the simple drop of that um sleeve there can i call it sleeve but i love the way one dropped and one just top there as like a singlet a very tiny um sleeve and then let's go down to um the fitting the fitting was nice everything about it i love her simple um gilet i love the fact that her makeup is so simple and her makeup is shouting gold gold i love the small detail of the bead that dropped from her dress and overall i'm going to say that i love i'm in love with this outfit 100 percent the next person is ben to ben i don't know i don't know his niggas are going to see it there i know him he is an actor he acts and that's why i said i think that the acts he meant to wear white because he's wearing white and i saw so many people wearing white also i love everything about it i love the small detailing of the gold it's just like showing that it is a chocolate i don't know that chocolate and gold they are the same but at least that's what i think that was put into this and overall it's so beautiful i love the fact that the guys came out soft and subtle but they still stand out the next person is Kay in the bank calling. Oh my god, I want to hug this woman. I love her. I've always loved her. But it's like nowadays I'm beginning to be in love with her. Oh my god, she's so gorgeous. I love her gap teeth. I'm talking about the dress, not her gap teeth. <laughs> I love her beauty. Her beauty is so striking. You cannot see Kay in the bank calling and just be like, ah, oh, fine girl. No, you look at her and be like, Ah, this is a fine girl. Because she is a fine girl. She's a very, very beautiful lady. She's not somebody that you're just going to look at once. You have to look at her and we look at her because she's that goddess, you know? And she's wearing this um, beautiful makeup. The makeup is breathtaking. She's beautiful. And then this makeup is just giving me... I'm becoming a lesbian. Because <laughs> I love her so much. I love the hair, then the dress. I love the fact that it's a jumpsuit. And um, I love the fact that we are not even seeing where the connection of the, of the pants and the... Uh, corset is going on i love the small detailing of the silver and the gold going on there i love everything about it though i'm seeing as if did they dash out one yard of the fabric or why is the entire fabric just around the bust area it's as if they she actually her friend bust two yards and shared it because i'm not seeing much of the outfit that the anko they actually be in this her outfit but anyway it's looking beautiful next person is nobu ikwe <laughs> Ah, this man, this man likes to be talked about. Okay, okay, I love this outfit. I love the, the cap. I love the way they made the design around the cap. I love the shade he's wearing. I love the fact that it is not a dark shade and it's beautiful. I love the wide leg pants, the wide leg pa uh, trouser. And he's not wearing socks, which is perfect. Because if he was wearing socks, like, I don't know what he's going to be. I think socks is just for people that are wearing... um suits there are even some colors of suit that doesn't even need um socks but then again if you're going to be wearing a um a socks when you're wearing a native you have to make sure that your trouser is going down your trouser is very long enough but this i love it i don't know what i feel about the shoes but anyways we can pass on that and i love his outfits this is the first time i'm seeing pretty mike comes to an event looking this simple and i love it for him i'm in love with this outfit it's just a plain white lace and i love it i love the detailing on the cap i love everything about this outfit and that is just it i think he loves to be talked about that's why he wears dramatic uh clothing and then he comes in with uh entry that is just like ah we's entering because the way he just came here quietly now nobody's going to talk about pretty mike in this wedding but he loves to be talked about so that's why he wears things that just shout 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 for Darren Lee, I couldn't get an outfit that he wore. I only saw him where he was dancing and I screenshot it. I love the power suit. I don't know whether by the time I'm going to upload this video, I must have seen him upload his picture on his page. I'm going to bring it if I see it. But if I don't see it, you guys are going to manage this particular picture that I have here. It's so beautiful. I love the pink hair because he has hair and he has to just show it off. I love the fact that I did not put the hair down. The hair is not making any distraction from the suit because the suit is a power suit. It's very beautiful. There are so many things going on. There is lace on the shoulder. There is um um this bead, these uh, stones going on there. There is everything is just going on and I love it. And he was so dancing in this picture that I did this video that I screenshot this from. Ah, then Ele is having energy, it's an energy gut. He has energy. And guys, the next person is Bivali Osu. Oh my god. I love, I love this outfit is one of the best that I saw that night. I love the small detailing of the bead around her tie area. 
I love the corset. Everybody is wearing corset and I love it. I love it. I love the fact that that exaggerated sleeve is there. Everything is just going so superb. I love her clutch. I love the small clutch she's wearing. I love the small detailing mm -hmm. of accessories. I, I love the fact that she did not even wear any necklace. Maybe she had had a dainty, very dainty one she would have worn. But I love the fact that she's not even wearing anything on her neck. Because so much is going on there. There is exaggerated sleeve. There are beads going on. There is... So I love it. I love that everything she's wearing is dainty, you know, from the one that she put on her wrist. And then the earring. The earring is just a little bit big, a little bit. And then she doesn't even need to wear anything on her neck anymore. I love it. I live for it. And I love it. It's one of the best of the night. I love her gilet too. And then this man here that his name is Seyi Mint. I do not know why he's post like this. Let me not put any meaning into it. But <laughs> yeah. So he looks good. He's just a white and white white and then the cap there's nothing going on here and it's just there and then erica god i really don't want to say anything about this erica dress because i don't like it i don't like the fact that they brought in that sleeve that sleeve that had that black detail and then they put the same thing by the side i do not like it i the front is already making too much noise why are you now bringing in black again to make noise just should i just left it with that front or remove that front and then have everything going on by the sleeve and then by the sides overall i'm going to rate this six over ten because i don't really i'm not really feeling it and then i make up i am not really really feeling that makeup erica looks more beautiful with other makeups and just there she, i am not she her brows is just like my own like me that i'm still learning how to do brows i think she's not even wearing eyelash and then the silver um eyeshadow used there i am not feeling it but anyway she's beautiful she's a beautiful girl she doesn't even need makeup to to be beautiful so but this makeup looks like it was done by me somebody that is not even a professional makeup artist so that's why i'm not feeling it and if you guys see i'm going to zoom in for you guys to see there are so many things going on the chest is full of bead full of um stones full of everything and she that does it that's my opinion you guys should tell me what you think about it in the comment section i'm going to make this into two parts because it's going to be very long if i don't make it into two parts and then the last person is going to be lilian esoro lilian esoro looked like a boss chick i love i love this her short uh dress then i love that she's wearing a suit over it I love the corset area. I love the beaded, um, the beads going on around her bust area. I love it. I love her short hair. I love the fringes going on on her arm. I love it. I love the hair, the bob, the makeup is. Mwah. If you guys notice this makeup and compare it to that of Erica, you're going to notice what I'm talking about. This one looks professionally done. Erica's own looks like me that's just learning makeup doing makeup for a superstar that is going for an event that's how the erica's makeup look but this one the red lips is lipping the uh eyebrows is brown the eye the smoky eye is smoking everything is just going very well with this i love it i love this one of the best outfits of the night for me again and the corset the corset is just showing illusion of her stomach because that was no line you can see her stomach directly from the corset and it was so beautiful i love it anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this part one of this fashion review for the a chocolate love story and i hope you guys are going to tune in for the second part which is going to be coming up immediately after this one see you guys in the next video please endeavor to subscribe to my channel if you love this video please follow me on instagram my name is afalabi is my handle you can just tag me everywhere anywhere that you see outfit that you think i'm supposed to review and guys please follow me when you go there to tag me and whenever you see me on instagram please follow me like my page like my pictures because there i snap one or two pictures and i'll see you guys in my next one bye